Hello YouTube, today I've got with me a quite large and unique creation for you guys today. As you can see, this creation is really actually one of my biggest as far as height. And this is my Lego Ping Pong Machine version 1. So this is my first ever concept design of this kind of machine. So it's run on both the power function system here and the NXT. So the power functions just spins these wheels which launch the ping pong balls across the table. And it has the IR system so you can make both wheels spinning the correct direction and also you can adjust the speeds with the speed dial. So I'll show you guys that in the performance section. And then we've got the NXT which has a pretty cool program on it. It has nine different modes to shoot with and then it uses these buttons along with these three buttons here to control the program. Also, to note this um, base plate just so I can slide it and show you guys all the different things, the actual base is on these hinged wheels so you can lift these up or lower them to adjust the trajectory of the ball so you can adjust how high or low it shoots. And that can actually make it a little bit more difficult or easier, whichever one suits your preference. And then you've got this motor here which drives this belt, and the belt feeds the ping pong balls directly through the wheels and launches them across the table. And then you've got this motor here, which um, basically adjusts the angle on the table so you can shoot center, right, or left at the table, which you guys will see that a little bit later on in the video. So that's pretty much it for the physical features. The stack holds a total of 13 ping pong balls, and now I will move on to the program. Hello guys, now that I've got it set up so you can see the NXT screen, I'll show you guys the different programs. So first you've got two different main programs, the ping pong robot program and then the test shot program. This program is pretty simple, it just allows you to test the distance on the table, so you press the red button to fire the balls, and then you can test with the wheel spinning how far you are shooting and where you need to position the robot. Hit green to escape, and then you can go out to the main program, which actually has the startup screen, and then you've got the difficulty mode, so easy, medium, or hard. So easy mode's going to have three seconds per ball, medium mode's going to have two seconds per ball, and hard mode's going to have one second per ball. So I'll go into easy mode so you guys can see that. So I'll start up the one of the modes that's got still normal side to side or random. I'll go into more depth in just a sec. So I'll hit still shots. You can see it's a little bit slower. Anytime you can hit red to quit at any time in the program. And now I'll go back in. And if you do let it get through the 13 balls, it will go back to the screen that looks just like that. So now I'm gonna quit out of that and show you guys the other different things. So let's go into medium. Same mode. I'll give you the time to run across the table. It's a little bit faster. And now we'll go back in and Go into the hard mode. So there you go. And now I'll show you guys the different modes within the difficulties. So let me focus this. So you've got the, I'll go into hard to save us some time. So we've got left for still shot, which you guys saw, normal side to side or random. So normal side to side is going to shoot to the left, to the center, to the right, to the center until the balls are gone. Then they will mainly go back to this screen, but I'm going to hit red so you can get, save even more time. So I'll go to the center. So there's that, and now 
go into the hard mode again and I'll hit right for random so as you can see it always gives you time to start up there's that and that's pretty much it for the program so you can read the startup screen with the credits and everything and that's pretty much it so now I'll get to the performance on the actual table Thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's pretty much it for my Lego ping pong machine. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Stay tuned for more awesome Lego creations and I'll see you guys next time.